Hello friends, uh, this is Sam. So today what we are going to discuss about, today we'll talk about suppose there is one specific problem I'm taking today. So what is the specific problem? Look at here. Uh, there is a payload which is coming, XML which is coming as a payload to your Mule application and from that payload you want to extract some details. For example, let's say uh, flight request is the incoming XML and which contains destination city. So you wanted to extract destination city from your uh, incoming XML which is incoming as payload. Let me show you the problem. So look at this project. Now here you can see that what I sent as payload, have a look on that. I sent flight request and that's a root element and destination that is SFO. So I want to take it this as, I want to take this as payload. So I set raw, I set XML application, XML everything. And let me show you what I'm doing here. I do have listener, I do have listener. And in that listener, I already configured this MIME type also, which is application XML. And then in this variable, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to extract the destination from flight request from payload. But what is happening? I'm getting an error. Uh, basically what is happening over here, even if that XML is coming as payload, so we are configuring that, whenever we are configuring MIME type in the listener, we are telling our Mule app, that incoming file is XML, but somehow the structure is missing. Somehow your Mule app is not aware about structure of this application, right? So somehow we need to give the structure of the application somewhere, then this set variable can get the value properly. So let me get into the solution mode. My solution mode is I will add transform message so let me just get into uh, design perspective and in design perspective what i do i just add transform message so this is what my transform message is i will add it here and in that transform message let me stop this project let me clean it up and in this transform message now i need to configure the incoming metadata, input metadata. So there I will require to have the sample file. So what I'm doing, I'm just taking this data and I'm making it as sample file. I'm going to notepad plus plus and I'm making this as maybe let me say file new and I say this one. Let me save it as sample file let me call it as flight sample dot xml putting that in the double quotation as there is all files written over there and i say save so this destination file got saved here let me configure this as sample file over here define metadata and i just create like xml type and create type So let's wait till it getting the type created, then the XML will select, sample file will select. So C colon, data, sample files and that is flight sample. So that is selected, flight request, that's great. So that is appearing as input detail. Let us wait till it resolving the metadata. It will show that flight request structure. Yeah, exactly. Now what I want to do, uh, what will be the output of transform message? So no output. I, I want the complete payload as the output. So what I will do, I will just get rid of this, add payload over here. So I want the payload as it is, but now that payload is a XML and as per a certain schema, that is already well known by your Mule app. 
and now whenever I will come to set variable, I will say payload dot flight request. Now it is aware about the structure of the XML. Okay, so let's see. Let me save that. Let me just debug that. So it's getting debug. Okay, so let's wait till it's getting deployed. That's fine. Okay, and uh, let me go to console. Still it's getting deployed. Okay, it got deployed and now we are just sending the detail, maybe anything you can set it here that will be printed on the console. So let me click on send and now let me look at here. Yes, it is getting printed what it is printing. Yes, SFO got printed. Okay, so this is how we could extract the particular part of incoming uh, XML file which is coming as payload. The same thing will uh, happen for JSON as well. So even if the incoming file is JSON, so you should able to do that with the same approach. I hope uh, you like this session. Thanks for watching this session. See you in the next uh, session friends. Thank you.